beautiful stranger. You're a devil in disguise. That's why I'm singing this song. What's going on? What are you wearing? Um, and what's that? You're up early. I've got school, aren't I? Yeah, but it's only about half past well, six. I've got homework to finish. I've got something to tell you, Donna. <laughs> I've met someone. A man. Don't mind, do you? <laughs> Why should I mind? Well, it's a long time since your dad died. Well, who is he? I think it suits me. <laughs> <laughs> Bob, this is my daughter, Donna. Hello, Donna. All right. I'll be in my room. I'll bring you a drink up, love. So, how do you like your eggs? Oh, Marlon, what a brilliant night. Do you know, Kathy, I've never met anyone that can do what he does. Wouldn't keep you awake again, do we, Kathy? I was talking about our evening in the wolf pack. <laughs> yeah, I knew that, Tricia. But in answer to your question, Marlon, yes, you did. Oh, sorry, Kathy. We were just a bit excitable when we got in. Last night was such a success. We had to do a bit of celebrating. Do you know, I got a real taste for French last night. Do you think I passed muster? As if you've been speaking it all your life. I suppose when you've mastered Spanish, French is as easy as one, two, three. Hey, what about Viv Windsor? <gasps> I know. Did you see her, Kathy, heading off with that bloke? I couldn't fail to, considering she was accusing me of trying to steal him. <gasps> oh, she was just drunk. She was only picking on you because you ain't got no one either. <laughs> I bet he's feeling sorry for himself this morning. <gasps> I can't believe it. I never thought I'd see the day where she actually got someone. <laughs> I know what you mean. Some people you just can't help but think of as lifelong hopeless cases, can you? <laughs> <laughs> right, I'm off to work. I'll see you later. See you, see you Kathy. Come on, then, give me a kiss. No, no kissing. Come on. No kissing. <laughs> Was Donna all right, do you think, seeing me? Oh, I think so. You might find this hard to believe, but you're actually the first man that stayed here since... well, since Donna's dad died. Oh, I see. Well, how long ago oh, was... Oh, two years now. <laughs> Not that I haven't had any offers. Many, many offers. It's just that I'm what you might call fussy. Then I'm very flattered. And so you should be. It's part of the reason you've not brought anyone back because of how Donna might feel. Well, it was for a while, but I think enough time has passed now. I'd rather not talk about my family history, if that's OK. Right. Oh, sorry. Well, I suppose I'd better get washed and dressed. I have to be in Huddersfield by nine. Right. Well, <laughs> so, um, am I going to see you again? I'd like that. Yeah? When? I'm in the area again in, uh, let me think, a couple of weeks. Great. <laughs> you really are a very sexy woman, Viv. <laughs> oh, I feel dead rough. How many bottles of wine did we have at our table last night? Oh, just the six. But if you mean how many did me, Alan, Ashley and Kath partake of? Just the three. Oh, I didn't knock back that many, did I? As the last punters were being shown to the door, you were stood on that chair, belting out a big spender. Morning, all! Here we are, as promised, ready to clear the mess. Congratulations, you two. Marlon, the food was superb. You should both be very proud of yourselves. Thanks, boss. It certainly seems to have been an unqualified success. Yeah, Lady Tara's only asked him to do the catering for a party she's having. Oh, really? Marlon, that's fabulous news. Isn't it just, I'll leave the food choices to you, she said. <laughs> well, I think a lot for lavish, cos with connections like hers, who knows where my next catering commission will come from. Look at him. Yeah, and with money like hers, who knows how much you stand to make? Yeah, well, I don't want to pitch it too high. Mind you, that said, she's not just paying for raw materials and my time. I mean, genius, don't come cheap. <laughs> I'm going for an aspirin. My head's banging loudly enough as it is without his trumpet deafening me into the bargain. <laughs> Well, I'm very pleased for you, but don't forget, Marlon. What's that, boss? Well, it's party, Taras. If you're planning on using my kitchen, she won't be the only one handing over money for time and raw materials. Is there no reply? No. It's not like Mrs Windsor to be late opening. Except if... Oh, Mrs Birch, what if something terrible's happened? From what I witnessed last night, there'll be a certain man thinking it just has. I'll try the front door again. See you then. Bye. Bye. 
Morning. Hello. Oh, Bob. This is my assistant, Emily Dingle. Pleased to meet you. <laughs> right then. Bye. Bye. I've come for my paper. Oh, yeah. Sorry, but uh, the deliveries are running a little bit late this morning. Emily, come inside and open up. Let's just hope he's worth it. Now go and get some clothes on. You've a village to attend to. <laughs> what are you thinking about? I was just wondering how Jack would react if uh, I asked to spend some time with Victoria before the court hearing. Maybe she could spend the night here. You never know unless you ask, dear. You? you wouldn't mind if she stayed? Of course not. I'm not going to be around much anyway. Pardon? I was going to tell you, I saw Chris last night. Wants me to go down to Stevenage tomorrow on business. You've not mentioned it before. It was only confirmed last night. You must have known it was on the cards. Sarah, we're assessing the IT requirements of a company down there. Of course I've got to go visit them. <sighs> That's not what I'm objecting to. You've never mentioned that you might have to work away. Well, it's obvious, isn't it? So, when are you picking up Mandy and her dad, then? Straight after work. Um... Gloria, sorry, I meant to say before, would you mind phoning the dentist for me and cancelling tomorrow's appointment? I'm, the number's in the book somewhere. No trouble. Uh, and you did remember to put off Mrs O'Neill, didn't you? She, she only likes me seeing her parakeet, so she'll have to wait till I get back. Paddy, it's all dealt with. Adam, will you tell him? I'm sure Paddy realises that you're very capable, Gloria. It's just that, well, Paddy's panicking. <laughs> Right, I'll just pop next door for a second, then. I've just got to sort something out. You, you will be able to manage without me for a second. Yes. Honestly. He's a bag of nerves. I can't say I blame him. I'm not saying I wouldn't do the same, but can you imagine what living with Mandy's dad's going to be like for him? It's nice to see you so happy, Mrs Windsor. Oh, any woman would be, Emily. I'm sorry I was late opening up, but sometimes you have to put yourself first. Oh, that's all right. Mrs. Winsy. Well, well, well. You look pleased with yourself. I have been to heaven and back, Trisha. <laughs> Did you, you know? I was treated like a lady. Bob is a true gent and very agile. Really? <laughs> Tell us more. I trust you to beat me to it, Trisha. Come on, then. What went on? <laughs> well, what do you want me to say? I think I'll put the kettle on. Are you telling me he went from selling you his stock to staying overnight in less than 24 hours? Maybe. Feel free to browse. It is of the highest quality. I haven't come here to look at tights, Viv, and while well, you know it. Phil, actually, these are dead nifty. So when you're seeing him again? I'm playing it cool. I'm very happy for you, Viv. Ooh, actually, you've got some really nice stuff here. Is he single? Divorced. And in very good nick. I was going to say, I wouldn't chuck him out of bed. Hey, you can keep your hands off. Oh, I'm only messing. Hang on a sec. What's that on your neck? Sorry? <laughs> oh, yeah. You've got a love pie. <laughs> <laughs> Mind the shop, I'll be back in a sec. <laughs> I don't understand what I'm supposed to have done wrong. Richie, we're partners. We live together. I've given up everything I had for you, and you can't even tell me that you're going away for a few I days. I just have told you. Yeah, at the last minute. And is that supposed to make me feel guilty that I've given up everything I had lying? It isn't a line, it's a fact. Why do you think I've got to go to court? I'm off to work. You just don't get it, do you? I want a relationship where, where we discuss things, where, where we both know where we stand. Sarah, I'm trying to build a future for myself. So what if it means going away for a while? Like I said, I found out last night and I've told you this morning. And am I part of this future you're working so hard at? You know what I mean? My career. I need to do what needs doing. If that means going away to Stevie... Oh, OK. OK, so uh, when do I expect you back? I'm not sure. Why? Because it depends how long it takes to sort out. Stop hassling me, Sarah, please. This is all so convenient, isn't it? Meaning? Just as the court hearing's coming up, you disappear for who knows how long. Sarah, it's my job. Just go. Go on, get to your precious office. I said go. Don't worry, I'm going. And don't expect me back early. Sorry, dear, about what happened, Seth. Terrible. 
What sort of people do something like that? I just spoke about it earlier, but uh, I didn't want to bother folk. You mustn't keep things to yourself like that. You need your friends at a time like this, just like we needed you when we had our upset. You're all right, though, aren't you? I'm bearing up. Worst thing is, it's made me feel old. I've never felt old before, or frightened. You needn't worry. We'll look after you. Have you told the police? Cos if you'll take my advice, you're best keeping them out of it. Zack! No, you'd be far better off sorting it yourself, with a little help from your mates. Zack, that is not the way to deal with things, and well you know it. It's too late, any road. Spoke to Andy Reynolds yesterday, but thanks for offer. Well, is she going to bring them to justice? How can she? I don't know the were. Well, you didn't even catch a glimpse of them? No. I thought it was daylight when it happened. It were, but I blacked out. I can't remember old. Anyway, main thing is, you get yourself back on your feet in your own time. Don't worry, we'll all look after you. You know, you don't want to go rushing yourself. I'll tell you one thing, though. I'm missing my beer. What did I tell you, Lisa? Never fear. Your old mate Zack is here. <laughs> hey, are, Seth, love. Hey, hey. what about mine? Mm. <sighs> so what do you want me to tell Paddy? Are you sure you don't want to speak to him yourself? Yeah, all right. So we'll see you soon then. Okay. Yeah, 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 we're fine. See you later. Bye. Paddy! Oh, Mandy's just been on the phone. She all right? She is, but apparently her dad's playing up and she told me to tell you not to come down just yet. She wants to calm him down first. Calm him down? What's that supposed to mean? I don't know, that's what she said. She said she'd ring back when things were better. They've just gone out for a quick walk. I just spent two days preparing for this. Look, it's a temporary glitch. It happens. Come on, I'll, I'll help you fetch your things back in. Give me, give me, give me a man after midnight. Take me through the darkness till the break of day. I'll take it you didn't just walk you to the front door last night, then. Was I really drunk in the pub? You weren't exactly restrained. Who is he? His name's Bob. He's a salesman. Got his number? Yeah, and he's going to call me next week. Well, good. <laughs> I'm glad for you. Thank you. Look, do you fancy having a drink? Oh, go on, I can tell you all about him. Yeah, why not? Great, go on. What are you doing here? I've got to ask. Nothing bad's happened, does it? No, no, there's just been a bit of a change of plan. She don't want me to go down there. She reckons she still needs a few days along with her dad. What for? But I guess he's as good as mine, mate. Right, well, let's make a night of it here, then. Can have a few drinks, a bit of a laugh, take your mind off it. I suppose so. I'll get some drinks in. It's gone all right with him staying over. Well, she seemed to be. I suppose I should have checked with her first, but we were very late getting in. She'll understand. Look, your dad's been gone a long time now, Kelly. It's what I need at this stage. I know. I told you. I'm pleased for you. Yes, ladies. Oh, and by the way, you can tell your Bob those stockings you sold me are fantastic. I told you. Gorgeous feel to them. It's all I can do to keep my own hands off me. <laughs> <laughs> Mrs. Winters met a man. Do you know, I thought as much. I was passing the back of her shop earlier today, and while she was hanging sheets out, she was dancing. <laughs> Taking a notice is making it up. I'm telling you, she was giving it all night. <laughs> <All right. laughs> Hey, did you dance when you first met me later? <laughs> yes. to mind my own business if you want, but you all right? <laughs> what question is that, eh? I'm asking because from the look of it, I'd say you were spending your nights keeping down here. <gasps> what would you care if I was? So are you? Well, stop acting all concerned. It didn't take you long to ditch me and get in with Chris Tate, did it? He didn't think twice about taking my car away, so I'm sorry, but you becoming pally all of a sudden, but it don't stick. Just because we're not mates anymore doesn't mean I'm going to ignore it if it looks like you're in trouble. <laughs> well, you've got a nerve, I'll give you that. It's pretty obvious to me that 
Are you having a bad time? Do you fancy going for a drink? Get lost. Oh, what are you going to do? Bed down in here till morning. Sarah's probably in bed and I've got some beers in the fridge. Come on. I'm sorry your paper was late being delivered today, Cathy. Only me and Bob. We have slept. Well, good for you, Viv. I hope it works out. Was that a deliberate pun? Sorry? Hope. That's his surname. <laughs> no, it wasn't deliberate. <laughs> Bob springs eternal. <laughs> I've had a really good time tonight. Me too. Just goes to show. Can get on when we try. Cheers. I never thought I'd say this, but I think I preferred it when she didn't have a fella. Oh, you're telling me. I swear, I've had every detail of her night relayed to me. I said to her, I did, I said, Vivian, if I wanted to hear that kind of talk, I'd go and get myself a Jackie Collins. Mind you, you've got to admit, he's a bit better than average. Just goes to show, even sad cases come up trumps occasionally. <laughs> Tell you what. How about the four of us girls have a girly night tonight after closing? Oh, yeah. Suits me. I'm game. Cafe? Yeah, great. What's the occasion? Oh, no occasion. Just thought it'd be nice, that's all. The thing is, I know what a dad can be like. He's just missing. I know. It's only to be expected. He even dragged a bed downstairs for him. <laughs> oh, he did have some help. Anyway, he's still coming, just not yet. You even agreed to move out for him. Paddy, the trip has been delayed. That's all. I know, I know, you're right, I know, you're right, you're right. I'm just worked up. Come on, let's go and have a few more drinks. Yeah. Good idea. I've got loads of cans in. Well, what are we waiting for? <sighs> well, I don't know what we're going to talk about, cos I'm not really interested in how well you're doing. Well, how about you? Is the garage a good earner? What do you think? Met anyone recently? A, a woman, I mean. Nope. So how's things with you, then? How's it going with the lovely Sarah? Not bad. Pretty good, really. Good. I'm really pleased for you. Come on, Scott, let's at least have a drink together. We are together and we're drinking. You really hate me, don't you? <laughs> What'd you expect? <sighs> she always go to bed this early. Sometimes. Depends. Paddy, talk about something else. All I said was it's my anniversary in a few weeks. Yeah, and the 13th of October. <laughs> Lost. <laughs> Just happy, that's all. Woo! Oh, that's an evening's work well done. <laughs> it's pretty nifty, this, isn't it? Right, I promise I'll shut up in a minute. Just let me show you what I bought Mandy today. <sighs> oh, for anniversary? <laughs> On the, On the 13th, 13th of October. October. <laughs> <laughs> Very funny. I'm taking her back to Venice and I bought her this. It's an eternity ring. Paddy, that's great. <laughs> well, you're a better man than me. Yeah, I'd, I'd never had any doubt about that. <laughs> oh, I'm dead jealous. Jess, does that mean you feel the same way as I do? <laughs> Get it, it runs off me. <laughs> you love it. Is that true as I'm standing here? That's one Spanish fella I'd very much like to bump into again on me wanderings. Oh, you're outrageous, oh, Diane. Yeah. Still, like all the rest, it was only after one thing. That's why you two are so lucky with Marlon and Ashley. Aren't they, Cathy? Yeah, certainly <laughs> are. Well, that's why I'm standing by Marlon. If he wants to set us up in Spain, I'll only be too happy to go. Well, it's like me with my Ashley. No! <laughs> oh, I mean Ashley. I was all ready to follow him to Leeds. No man like that don't grow on trees. Look what happened to me with your father. Well, there must have been something you liked about him. There were lots of things, Trisha. That's why I married him. He could charm the birds out of the trees, could Rodney. Trouble was, there were that many birds, I felt like Tippy Hedron. <laughs> he could have done with his own aviary. <laughs> Let's not talk about him, though. <laughs> no, good riddance to bad rubbish. But the point I'm trying to make is, they're mostly not worth the time and trouble. That's why I've got into this no-commitment thing. You can only take disaster after disaster for so long before you stop wishing and hoping. Plus, getting older doesn't exactly help you in your quest. <laughs> Still, that's enough talk about men. There's plenty of other things we can talk about. Is there? I don't know what. <laughs> <laughs> Will you and Marlon get married, Trisha? 
It's not something we're planning on, no. The thing is, we know we're meant to be together, so who needs a few vows and a ring to prove anything? I always wanted to get married in the past, but, well, I suppose I feel more secure this time. Oh, it's every girl's dream, though, isn't it? Going to the church to be joined in holy matrimony with Mr Wright, head to toe in white, to people throwing confetti. <laughs> Look, I don't know if it's because I had a late night last night, but I'm absolutely <laughs> exhausted. Do you mind if I get off? No, of course not, no. It's only half twelve. I know, and I'm sorry. Thanks for the invite, but right now, all I need is my bed. Night. 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 So, Diane, who's this tippy what's it then? Well, you know, it's ages since I've had a night like this. Spending time with someone my own age, I mean. Well, that's what you get when you run off with a woman who's old enough to be a mum. Yeah, tell me about it. What's that supposed to mean? Oh, no. Another can? No. Now I've got to go. I've got to be up early. Hmm. Why don't you stay here the night? Sorry, what, mind? I don't need charity, you know. I know, but you can't go on sleeping in a car. Are you sure? Of course I'm sure. There's a spare bed. Well, thank you. <laughs> I suppose you're not all bad, eh? Peace at last. She's certainly got a good pair of lungs on her. Hmm. Bernice, do you reckon everything's all right with Cathy? Well, I can't pretend this evening went according to plan. The thing is, you get a group of girls together and they're bound to talk about men, whether they're single or attached. Exactly. Do you reckon that's why she left early? I don't know. She's never sat down, though. So does that mean that she does want a man? To be honest, Trisha, I don't know what she wants. But if you ask me, a loving boyfriend would sort that woman out in no time. Maybe it's because of Graham. No, Trisha, she's got to move on. I knew better to give her a blimmin' good push than her best mates. You're right, Bernice. We need to find Kathy the perfect man. The perfect man. <laughs>